Get ready for things to get a little bit stranger. I'm the Flannel Fox, Tim Swernick, and I reviewed Stranger Things 3, the game on the Nintendo Switch. If you like this video, please subscribe and follow me on Twitter at The Flannel Fox. Following along with the recently released Stranger Things Season 3, the game takes you through a more concise version of the same season with all of the characters that you know and love, but now you can play as them and explore the nostalgic town of Hawkins, which you do from an isometric perspective controlling two chosen members of your team at any time, once you unlock them that is, as you unlock more members of your squad as the eerie story unfolds. This gives you the choice to play through by yourself, swapping between the two characters as needed to complete specially designed puzzles, or to team up with an amigo for some local co-op, which I can certainly recommend for this investigative journey. As your quests in Stranger Things 3 the game consist of gathering items needed to proceed to the next part of your story-driven adventure, but how you collect them is the fun part. Sometimes you'll simply be searching the woods for pieces of your self-built radio tower with the task of smashing through Russian muscle heads as you do, others you'll be switching on and off circuit breakers searching for that right combination to unlock your needed item. The journey is an engaging one, where searching around the next corner can just as easily lead you to a deadly creature or to a goofy joke. Just as the show, the dialogue, and discoveries in Stranger Things 3 The Game are brimming with a personality so charming that it'll make it hard to put down. The combat in Stranger Things 3 The Game is classic beat-em-up with character-specific attacks, special attacks, and special abilities, all of which you're able to swap between very quickly as needed to accomplish your objectives. The attacks can vary from poisonous spray and slingshots to scissor swipes and punches. Depending on your playstyle, you can choose the pair that you'd like to go into brawls with. However, I tended to opt for the ranged attacks when in tight spots because maneuvering through enemies and environments is sometimes quite clunky and I found myself stuck between an enemy and a hard place more than once. Straying off the beaten path in Stranger Things 3 will lead you to optional side quests that are along the lines of the main story fetch quests, however it gives you a chance to earn more money and pick up more crafting ingredients. These can be used to craft trinkets, equipable party modifications that make you a more deadly brawler against the evil creepy crawlies that you must defeat. With a wide variety of trinkets to choose from, you can upgrade the skills for the party members that you play the most, not just blanket statement choices, which really adds to the player choice. While the game isn't the way that I can recommend taking in Season 3 of Stranger Things the first time, it makes a fantastic pairing for fans of the show that want that new episode high to continue for a little bit longer. Showing you unique sides of story moments that weren't in the show, or giving you the time to explore areas in Hawkins a little bit deeper, gives you that great context and foundation for story beats that you may have otherwise not known or would have simply looked past. I found myself a number of times explaining things in the show to my wife that I learned in the game that I otherwise wouldn't have known about certain characters' relationships. Playing on the Nintendo Switch is a fantastic way to enjoy this experience, besides one technical hiccup that I really hope gets fixed soon. When docking my Switch, continuing a game from handheld mode and moving to docked with my Pro Controller, the controller will not be recognized and I was forced to restart the game, which caused me to jump back to the game's previous autosave. The same thing happened when moving from docked to handheld, giving me varying results of just a stutter screen that didn't allow me to do anything, to once where it just jumped to local co-op mode and handheld until I restarted the app, causing some annoyance and minor progress loss when making the switch. Stranger Things 3 The Game is an absolute must for any fan of the show that is also a gamer. It truly made my experience watching Stranger Things Season 3 better, cementing the story's foundation with different angles and more information. With good gameplay mechanics, the beat-em-up action stayed pretty fresh as the different characters to play as gave me options to keep things from becoming too stale, and the fetch quest nature was elevated by the charm and personality that Hawkins and those who live there already bring to the table. 
While some minor technical issues on the Switch are certainly something to think about, this is a great experience that I can happily recommend. That's why I'm giving Stranger Things 3 the game on the Nintendo Switch an 8 out of 10. If you enjoyed this video game review, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Flannel Fox. Hit that like button and follow me on Twitter at The Flannel Fox. Be sure to follow and subscribe because the more followers and subscribers I get, the more codes I get, which means I make more videos. Thank you so much for watching my videos, and as always, see you next time, Switcher.